I see Ron as a leader. I see Ron as an executive. I see Ron as somebody like Ron. I see Ron as a oh, I, person who was a well, great project manager. Well, then what and happened I think on he, Ukraine? It, it, I think his he's pro- such a leader. Why the hell did he sort of change his position on Ukraine? He's got three different positions on Ukraine. Well, but that part, Rudy, I would say. Ooh, I, I, would, I don't know. Uh, so so uh, he, he becomes an isolationist to suck up to Tucker Carlson. And then he becomes a, 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 a Reagan Republican. So to, you're calling him a flip-flopper is what you're no, calling him. No, I'm saying it's a dangerous tendency. Don't go, uh, don't, don't, you know, don't, uh, politics is not a game of love at first sight. You don't get to know somebody. Uh, he could be a great candidate. He may not be. You don't know that. He shows uh, some very good tendencies, and he shows some very big weaknesses. That flipping around on Ukraine was very dangerous. So flip-flop is what you're saying. That's the word. I One mean, time you did. I'm an immigrant, but English yeah, but let's is not my first did, language. Let's, let's see if that's uh, him, yeah. or let's see that, if that was a mistake. I'm willing to say he's a new-time candidate. Uh, we don't know. We do not know how he's going to bear up under running for governor of uh, Florida and running for president of the United States yeah. is like running for school president and then running for major office. I, I, don't, I don't think there's any dispute there. I, 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 don't, I wouldn't disagree with you there, but I would it's also totally, tell you. I've seen people who are great candidates yeah. statewide who totally fall apart as presidential candidates. And I, I'm not going to say he will, but he's, I'd be careful betting the whole thing on him because he's shown some tendencies, some weaknesses, if they are really weaknesses, that will, he won't be there at the end, as many front runners were not there at the end. So I'm not even sure he'll eventually be uh, Trump's major opposition. I can tell you Trump will be there at the end. Mm-hmm. He owns 40% of the party. You also got to be careful how bad you go after him because then you won't be able to win. You've got to run as, as, a, as, a, as a candidate running against him. Yeah, it's great to bring new people in. A bit of a fantasy also. The only person who's been able to bring a lot of new, only two people have brought a lot of new people into politics since Reagan. Obama and, Ray, and Trump. You're Trump right won that. the first time with new people. So we got a few people here. So I don't know if, if that. Who was the first clapper? <laughs> Who was the first clapper? Can you? Okay, where are you? Can I'm, I not see sure, you? Uh, I'm not sure you win elections that in America. When I, when I ran for office, which is, a de- which is ages ago, you won by going to the middle. Uh, there were the liberals, the conservatives, and then there was the middle. And I won uh, uh, being mayor of New York by going to the middle. I had a win in a democratic state. You can, I don't know if you can win that way anymore. I don't know if there's enough of a middle. I'm not sure. You might be able to. But I'm not sure that going to the middle, you lose your base. And here's what I always advise Trump. I don't care what CNN says about you. I don't care what MSNBC says about you. I don't care what the liberals say about you. It's not going to hurt you. When I start seeing your base turn, then we start to worry. Because you can't exist in politics without a solid base any longer. That's what, Bi- that's what Biden has for sick reasons. And that's what uh, Trump has. And that's why... They may be the two most dangerous uh, uh, candidates. You, you, may, you may only be able to win now by appealing to your base and bringing them out more than the other guys or just plain cheating. That's another way to win. Yeah, yeah and don't discount that. Mr. Mayor, I, um, we've asked this question repeatedly, but I would love to get your take on this. But is there any chance that you see if Trump gets the nominee, him uh, pinning Governor DeSantis as his running mate for he can, VP. He can't. They're, they're both in the same state. One of them would have to move out of Florida. You, you, uh, a, a president ah. and vice president can't run if they're residents of the same state. Pa- the page same- 793. You didn't read that. Ah, I only read up to 600. <laughs> he skipped I stopped at 600, Pat. I'll do better. But I don't, know, I don't know that either one of them would be the right vice presidential candidate. But if candidate. he could, if he, like, let, let's say he really wanted him and Trump <clears throat> redomiciled to New York, let's just say. It would depend, it would depend a little on on the primary and how, how strong uh, Kamala Harris started the Democratic primary looking invincible, right? She beat the living daylights out of Biden in the first debate. By the second debate, Tulsi Gabbard had totally ripped yeah. her apart and uh, proved that she's one of the silliest people ever in American politics. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, what do you think, it would, Dave? It well, would depend on how good a candidate he is. Well, it's interesting because if I'm getting this right, the two biggest criticisms of DeSantis seem to be that he had a shoddy book launch, which, okay, let's say that's, <laughs> let, that's kind of right. Marketing which, problem. again, got to number one on New York Times bestseller, as, as much bullshit as that thing is. Uh, you can tell that they left my last book off the list. Um, but so he, so he, okay, he screwed up a book launch, let's say, and let's just say everyone in this room agrees with that, and that he hasn't been president before. Well, most presidents haven't been president before, and I don't know that you can blame the guy for a book launch, so I haven't heard any real criticism of the guy, right? He did say about the Ukraine flip. Yeah. Okay, so all right, that, that I would count as a criticism. A little yeah. bit of a flip, a, a flipping on a very important subject that you should be prepared for if you are a pre presidential candidate. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.